Hi, it's Nina with Stitching with a Smile, and uh, I thought I'd do a quick little video on a tip. I had a question about a week or two ago from uh, Kathleen, and I don't think I answered it uh, quite properly because uh, I wasn't, um, I didn't think of all the uh, all the possibilities. Um, and I'd like to correct that, and I also think that others may be having the same issue. So uh, I thought maybe I'll do a video and uh, we'll see if we can try to uh, help out here. The issue is um, that uh, the thread Kathleen is using is fraying. Uh, she's using Valdani thread. Now I've not used Valdani yet. Uh, I did buy a kit and we'll be doing a, re a re review when I stitch that kit. Now that's going to be a little while. I'll do the Hardanger stitch along first. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not experienced with Valdani. Maybe it does fray faster than uh, the Pearl Cotton. Uh, however, here's a couple of ideas um, that uh, may help. The first one is the one that I had mentioned to uh, Kathleen. And it is uh, where you take the ball of thread. Now this is a DMC um, Pearl Cotton size 8. Uh, I don't have a size 5 in a ball. Uh, the um, Valdani does come on balls, and that's why I suggested this. When you take your thread, take the end, leave it on the ball, take the end, take your needle, and thread it onto your needle. I use a needle threader, and oh, I should maybe I'll show this real quick. There's my needle threader. It is a low ran needle threader has a small end and a large end. The large end, this is a size 22 needle, fits in the 22 and I think it even fits in the 24 and possibly the 26 size needle. And the small end fits in the 28 uh, so it, it goes a long ways. Take the end that's not attached, well it, the thread is still attached to your ball. Thread it onto your needle give yourself a little bit so that it doesn't fall off the needle then pull your thread off the ball cut your length and start stitching now I had heard this tip a while back uh, quite a while back and I'm not sure where I heard it from but if you stitch a certain way with your thread it doesn't fray as much as if you stitch the other way with your thread it has to do with the way the thread was spun so that could be a suggestion. Um, with the DMC Pearl Cotton, I had heard that this is how you should be threading from the ball. With the Valdani, maybe it's the opposite way. I don't know. I, I think some experimentation is in order, uh, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> um, so that's one suggestion. Another suggestion is shorter lengths. Now Kathleen did say that she uses 18 inch lengths, which is a good length and a recommended length for your thread. So that's not the issue for her. However, if you're finding that your thread is fraying and you're using longer lengths, maybe shorten up your lengths. The third thing I thought of um, is needle size. That could make a difference. Not just for where you're threading your needle into the, the eye of the needle, um, but also as you pull your needle through your fabric you want a needle that'll open up the hole a little bit um, so that when the thread goes through that hole it's not rubbing as harshly on the threads of your fabric. So recommended needle sizes for a 22 count is a size 22 needle. Um, for a 25 count Lugana or 25 count when you're doing Hardanger and using DMC Pearl Cotton number 5 I still use a uh, 22, size 22 needle. And the reason the size 22 works with the number 5 thread is because it does open up the hole a little bit so that you can get that thread through without it rubbing quite as much. Um, possibly even use, if it's a, a real problem, possibly go down to a size 20 needle and try that. Uh, that'll open up the hole a little further now, I haven't used a size 20 needle on a 22 or a 25 count fabric. 
However, uh, the holes, even if, if they open up a little more, when you wash it, it's all going to come back down again and there won't be a problem there. So I don't see that as being a problem. Um, give those things a try and uh, see how you do. When I do the um, kit I have with the Valdani thread, I'm going to uh, review how that thread works as well. And we'll see. Maybe, maybe it just for phrase more. Maybe even shorter lengths are in order, which, which is a bit of a nuisance because you end up using up more thread. However, it will, wouldn't fray as much. Um, at any rate, I hope that helps. Uh, I've been, uh, this has been on my mind, <laughs> and that's why I thought I better do this video. Otherwise, I can't stop thinking about it. So uh, I hope that helps, and I hope anybody out there who has that issue, I hope you found some help with this. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.